Hi everyone, welcome to a new beginning video. My name is Tommy and in this video I'm going to show you a little bit of training with this pretty man, Genesis Begijnhoeven, because uh, Sunday I have a competition. I'm going for the first time into two. In this video I'm going to tell you how I train to watch a show and uh, if we do any different things, maybe, or we stay the same. So enjoy the video. You're so sweet. Ooh. You're as sweet as how pretty you are, huh? Yeah. You are so sweet. And he loves the attention. Eh? He's kind of a living My Little Pony. <laughs> my little pony in life. Make your big pony. Eh? Yes. <laughs> so, I'm going to eat. Bye. <laughs> So good morning everyone, um, Yeah, I'm walking to the stables now. So yesterday we went to Anki's and uh, I for the first time wrote a little part of my test. I must admit that I was probably a little bit late with training the lines of the test because you are training all the time to get your elements like ready, uh, not specifically already on the lines from the show. But of course, and I wanted to wait uh, to do it together with Anki, so I wanted to know her opinion, how she prepares, prepared her horses uh, yeah, for the competition. My mother is now here. Uh, she's going to, uh, to watch my training and help me uh, doing what we did with, um, yesterday in Anki's uh, training. Uh, it's now... Uh, uh, Thursday so the competition is on Sunday so I have a few days left uh, which I think I need but uh, so today my plan is to warm up just a little bit not train him too long just warm him and then uh, do some lines from my test and uh, yeah see how that goes and then probably tomorrow I will uh, because I rode him already a few times this week a few days in a row so tomorrow it's uh, it's friday and then uh, i have planning to do a little easy day just a little basic stuff and then saturday i will do the lines from the test again and hopefully then on sunday i'm ready good morning genesis i am already waiting hi just a pretty boy yeah. hello Goed, heel goed. Veel beter dan gisteren hoor. Goed zo, dat is al veel beter. En kom, en kom. En dan bedoel ik niet harder mee, maar actiever hè. Dat 
niet alles losgooien, hè? Aan elkaar weg. Ja. Want anders heb je de eerste passen ook niet goed. Dat zou ik nog even één keer doen. Heel erg links, achteruit. Heel erg eruit. En hou dat ook op deze lijn vol. Dus niet hard, maar ritme houden. Oké. Okay. Aan elkaar weg. Dat was te hard weg. Nog één keer houd. Gedragen weg. Ja, stop. Super. Ja, beter. Hou hem gedragen. Goed zo. En kom, en door, hè? heel goed. Heel goed, en door. Opvangen en ritme. Goed zo. Goed. Goed zo. En gedragen, en ge ja, heel goed. Goed.
for my mom to film my training so I can uh, look it back. So sometimes the picture looks uh, a lot different than how it feels. And when I look at the, the passage now, it's way better than what you probably have seen in the last video from Thursday. I already thought that was good. But now, when I see this, this is much better. So uh, the training with Anki worked. Ik heb nog niet het gevoel dat ik er klaar voor ben. Nee, nee. Oh, they always want me to go on competition and I have the feeling that I'm not super ready yet, but okay. We just gotta go. We have to do it. Yeah, so if you saw uh, the video from last Thursday, you saw me, I was really happy with the feeling and then I looked it back and then I thought, mm, it was not so good. Uh, oh, okay, it was not bad, but it needs to be better, especially the passage. It looks too much like a trot instead of like a passage. So I went to Anki yesterday and uh, she helped me with that and that was really good. So uh, today it was a lot better. I really had the feeling that I have yeah, more kind of a passage instead of a trot. So uh, yeah, that was really good. So yeah, what she said to me is that I, I leave him too much alone in the passage. So I make the transition to passage and then I basically do nothing anymore. And she said you sh should support him a little bit more with your legs. So it's easier to have the right balance and the rhythm and that worked really well. And I always uh, like it when my mom is here because uh, yeah, she can um, say it really at the right timing. Uh, what I need to change or am I too late with my corrections or that it's still not so good because on a regular basis I ask uh, some grooms to film me and then when you get filmed and you look at afterwards you're always too late I mean you need to have the corrections like at the moment so that's nice when my mom is here and of course we sometimes disagree or like ah, speaking to each other, but I think that's also the, the charming. I mean, you, you keep each other alert and uh, you do it as, as a team together. So that's, uh, yeah, that's really nice. Um, my name is Doreen. I'm the new groom here. I'm working here uh, from August. And I'm gonna tell you what we do for the competition days. Uh, for the shaving part, uh, we shave a week before the legs, because if there are maybe a little wound, um, we can see it, we can treat it, so the day on the competition they are on point and uh, they can shine. For the mates, we do a, you maybe think we do it the day before, but we don't. Uh, we do it a week before, because if there are mistakes, we are making sometimes mistakes, uh, we can see them and we can get it again. So uh, yeah, it's on point for uh, the competition. It depends uh, what time they're going on competition, but we also do the saddle and bridle into the boxes from the truck. We have a big checklist, so we don't forget anything. That's the most important thing for, um, for us, to make sure the horse is ready, and also all the stuff for the rider. For the extras, the feeding part, and everything, we discuss it with Rob or Tommy, if they want something different then we know, otherwise we only do the yeah, materials and the horse ready. I will be preparing for the Sunday. Yes. For Sunday. He is my uh, partner in crime Sunday. <laughs> yep. So, no. so if I have a shitty test, it's your fault. Yeah, that's dressage rider. They always it's, need to blame someone else for their own mistakes. It's, it's allowed <laughs> the blame on me. I can handle it. I've got a, I got a big back. Big back, not big back. Big back. <laughs> so, uh, this is not Genesis. This is Karma. And about Genesis, I will prepare them on Sunday. So, my, but my colleagues, they will wash them uh, the day before with shampoo and uh, stuff for its mane and tail. So I can do it quicker on Sunday, um, so I can have more time to braid and make them all shine and look good for the show. Yeah, so you uh, just saw the training uh, with Genesis with me and my mom. Uh, as you could see, it's not like spotless, it's not perfect yet. Uh, actually, I was thinking when I saw it, oh, I, maybe I should not go on competition on Sunday. But uh, I think you always, as a rider, have those kind of situations. And I think it's good that I go, because now you train in a little bit in a different way. I mean, when you go on a competition, you really have to do certain exercises at that point, and you have to do it now. 
and that gives a little bit more um, how do you say that you, you need to be a little bit more consistent on the spots where you need to do your stuff so yeah it's of course a different kind of training than when you just train and you do it whenever it suits you right so uh, I think it's good to do it and um, yeah I hope uh, I can manage it on Sunday to uh, do it good but this is also why I want to do this so um, I really hope you like to see this video if you do leave a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe of course see you next video